Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, the BitChu channel where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. While I have your attention, I'd like to ask that if you like what I'm doing, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, share me on social media, and tell all of your friends, family, neighbors, pets, and livestock to do the same. I would appreciate your support via my PayPal tip jar, my subscribe star, my merch stores on Teespring, or a place on my website where you can support me further. And there are links to all of these in my description box. Well, yesterday, 16-year-old Greta Thunberg made an impassioned and often maniacal speech before the United Nations 2019 Climate Action Summit. Now, she was known before this in as much as for the last year or so she's been an international figure in various socialist and communist causes, such as victim disarmament and the climate change doomsday scenario. Many commentators are comparing her to Hitler Youth or making light of her unusual appearance. The former isn't very apt and the latter is really just a symptom of a birth defect. You see, when she was young Greta was 11 years old, she became depressed and lethargic, stopped talking and eating, and was eventually diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, obsessive compulsive disorder, and selective mutism. Now, none of these conditions is curable. They can only be managed either via therapy or medication. Sadly, Greta is stuck with these conditions for the rest of her life. Now, as someone who suffers from a severe anxiety disorder that can also only be managed but never cured, I can entirely empathize with Greta. Now, in her case, she is probably a case of what we call high-functioning Asperger's. Now, high-functioning just means that she can get along in everyday life. Now, as someone who doesn't know her personally, the most obvious symptom of her Asperger's is what's called restrictive and repetitive interests and behaviors. In Greta's case, this is evidenced by her fixation on the climate change doomsday scenario. It appears to have become her primary and all-consuming interest, and her behavior regarding it is also symptomatic of Asperger's. So she can't really, you know, help what she does. It's part of her mental illness. Now, there's no obvious uh, evidence of her obsessive compulsive disorder, though this may just be limited to behaviors you don't see in public. I mean, I've had relationships with women who were OCD, and it isn't necessarily things like relocking the same locks on the door repeatedly. Sometimes it's an inability to stop thinking about some event, replaying it constantly in your mind, and imagining different scenarios in which events could have turned out differently. So, in any case, there's nothing obvious about Greta's OCD. We also don't see symptoms of her selective mutism. Uh, this is probably limited to personal interactions that are only seen in private. Someone with selective mutism can be trained to speak for a large group, such as the United Nations, where they might have really severe difficulties interacting with individuals. Now, her depression is probably managed with medication, as these days there are all manner of antidepressants. These days, anybody who's diagnosed with clinical depression can usually find medical relief. So I am not going to make fun of Greta. As someone who has a severe personality disorder, an anxiety disorder that can only be managed, I have much sympathy for her. Now, the climate change doomsday scenario is nothing but science fiction. Fiction. I've gone over this in my video, Debunked Climate Science is Not Science, and there's a link to that in my description box below. But in brief, as, as someone who is a scientist, it says so on my college degree, what passes for climate science in no way follows the scientific method. Since this is true, it is therefore not a science, but rather a religion. It is a religion that has been indoctrinated in America's children by a broken educational system that no longer educates, but rather indoctrinates our children to believe in destructive socialist and communist philosophies. Now, I have an entire series on this called America's Broken Schools. You can find the links to the playlists in my description box below. But if you watch no other part in that series, I suggest watching part three, Fixing the Broken System. And again, link to that in my description box, as this will recap the problem and give a possible solution. However, 
we now have an entire generation and well into our second and possibly our third that believe in the myth of the climate change doomsday scenario. This is extremely problematic when combined with them having been indoctrinated to believe in communism. And action on climate change would invariably result in a worldwide communist dictatorship. And as always scrolls past in my lower third, communism and socialism always fail, killing millions in the process. The entire 20th century is a history textbook in failed and socialist and communist governments. And in the process, they killed between 100 million and 150 million people worldwide. For modern examples, one need only look to Venezuela. And in the U.S., you can only look at the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in South Dakota, almost always rated the number one slum in America. Russell Means, the deceased Native American activist, was adamant that the Pine Ridge was a shining example of how socialism destroys everything it touches. I know many Native Americans who agree with him. Socialism and communism always fail, killing millions in the process. Yet our young believe that it is the only answer to our modern problems, all of which were caused by socialist policies. They particularly believe that communism is the only solution to the non-existent climate change doomsday scenario. Now Greta is an unfortunate victim of this, and in her case, it is rather exacerbated by her Asperger's. She is completely fixated on it, and it is extremely unhealthy for her. Now, Greta's parents, opera singer Milana Enman and actor Svant Thunberg, are disgusting pieces of human garbage. What they've done to Greta is no less than child abuse. Now, as I've mentioned, Greta's Asperger's is manifested by a fixation on the climate change doomsday scenario. Instead of taking the advice of Greta's therapist, which no doubt involves attempting to nudge her into other more constructive hobbies, they have chosen to make Greta a cash cow. Malana and Svant are using Greta to make money. Make no mistake, Greta doesn't do all this for free. She gets money for everything she does, including speaking before the United Nations. And as a minor, Greta doesn't see this money directly. It is given to her parents, who are then supposed to manage it for her benefit until she becomes of age. Milana and Svante are currently raking in all of Greta's money. They have essentially transformed her into a child star. Now, as evidenced by the many child actors who end up really screwed up, they're placed in a position where they have yes-men hangers-on and adoring crowds that hang on their every word. However, at some point, they age out of child roles and discover that they can't make the transition to adult roles. And at that point, all the yes-men and hangers-on disappear. The crowds evaporate, and they discover that they have no real friends. They also sometimes discover that their parents, who manage their money as children, took the cash and ran. And then they find themselves both psychologically and financially broken. And make no mistake, Greta will age out. She's presently the de facto spokesperson for the current generation of children being indoctrinated in communism and the climate change doomsday scenario. As they age, Greta will no longer be attractive to them. She will never be attractive to anyone much younger than her as they find anyone older than that just rather ancient. And one no look no further than YouTube to see that this is true. Younger YouTubers age out. This typically also means the demise of their channel. Now, within two to six years, Greta will have aged out. Her yes men and hangers on will be gone. Her parents may well have absconded with all her earnings. And those of you who are currently cheering her every word will disappear. And I wouldn't put it past a pair of scumbags like her parents who would just capitalize on their daughter's psychological disorder to take the money and run. Now, what those on the left are doing to Greta is almost as disgusting as what her parents, Milana and Svante, are doing to her. The left is capitalizing on her, too. They're using her as a de facto voice for political purposes. 
Now, those on the left who hold public office know that the climate change doomsday scenario will never come to pass. They use it as an excuse to implement deadly communist and socialist measures in order to gain more power. Never forget that those who hold public office are power-mad sociopathic narcissists by the textbook definitions. They will do anything and everything to acquire and maintain as much personal power over your life as they can. And they would be thrilled to make America into a communist government because it would give them total power over you. Those in public office are simply using Greta as a tool of the moment. As soon as she ages out, they'll be gone right along with the other yes-men and hangers-on. Now, the left not in office are simply idiotic and useful idiots. They find Greta simply another celebrity of the moment, but this won't last for more than two to four years. When Greta ages out, they will be the crowds that just evaporated. They will leave Greta already cursed by debilitating incurable psychological disorders. They will leave her a complete wreck. Make no mistake. Greta's parents, Milana and Svante, are using her to make money. They haven't given a second thought to the fact that what they're doing amounts to child abuse. And those on the left who are holding political office are using Greta to their own nefarious ends. They couldn't care less about her. Those on the left who are presently showering her with adoration will ultimately disappear. And all of this will leave Greta a psychological wreck. If she doesn't commit suicide at a young age, it will be a miracle. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. Milana and Svante should be particularly ashamed of themselves. Greta Thunberg is undergoing a kind of child abuse that will ultimately destroy her life and probably result in suicide. Those of you abusing her are just disgusting animals and you should be utterly and completely ashamed of yourselves. And that is all that I have to say about that. Now I'd love to keep the conversation going so please leave your comments, questions, and nasty remarks and I'll do my best to respond to you. So thanks for watching. That is all the time that we have today for this episode of the highly acclaimed, world-renowned Tales from SYL Ranch, the BitChute channel where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.